your vote as the most likely to win this thing? To be honest, I really don't think I know who's going to win this wow. uh, election. Not least because the polling is not entirely consistent. Um, you guys have certainly been sending out in their polling a fairly strong message that assuming she makes it to the ballot, and of course that isn't guaranteed at the moment because Liz Truss might overtake her, that Penny Mordaunt would be the selection of the membership. However, there's other polling out there, one done for the Unheard website, also polling done by Opinion, isn't as favourable to Penny Mordaunt as is that by YouGov amongst members in general, although I think it is pretty clear uh, both from uh, YouGov's polling of members but also polling of the wider public that Penny Morden certainly has improved her profile during the course of last week. One of the things, of course, is crucial about her, and it's also true, by the way, of, of Kemi Badenoch, um, is that, you know, just largely an unknown. I mean, if uh, either a Penny Morden or Kemi Badenoch were to become prime minister, they would be the least well-known prime minister in modern British history, at least on coming into office. Now, Penny Morden's slowly people are forming a view about her, and informing a view, it looks as though rather more people are coming to a favourable view than an unfavourable view one. Um, but the truth is, it's still very difficult to know what the wider public would make either of her or of Kimmy Badenoch, if indeed they were to get into the final two. Well, well, Sir John, let's listen to what they said about their weaknesses, because I'm wondering what effect that the actual, the hustings had on it. So this is, this is what Kemi said about her weaknesses. My greatest weakness is probably allowing my sense of humour to look like I'm flippant about issues. That is, that's Penny, right? And this, that, sorry, that's uh, Kemi. This is what Penny said of, of her weaknesses. I think all of us um, are going to need to build a team of all the talents in the party. We all have different backgrounds. We all have different strengths and weaknesses, but the team is what hasn't been at the heart of a government. And uh, it's got to be less about the, just the person in that top job. It's got to be everyone around the cabinet table and really empowered ministers of state with very clear deliverables um, and a timetable. And that is the only way we're going to get things going. So she didn't really say that she's weak at anything there, by the sounds of it. Uh, well, do, do you think that these, um, do you think that they would have had much effect? Did you know, is, is there anything in the offings that, can you sense any change in terms of polling? Well, I, first thing to say, I mean, Penny Morden used the question to convey two central political messages in her campaign. One, of course, is that she's trying to suggest that she's not been, because she's not been in cabinet, she's well distanced from Boris Johnson. Um, and secondly, very much, I think, hoping that perhaps she might be the compromise candidate, the candidate that can bring together both those on the more pro-Brexit wing of the party, together with those who perhaps have never been quite so convinced about Brexit, um, and equally bring together the tax cutters and those who are perhaps not quite so ardent uh, about tax cuts. Both those measures were conveyed very effectively in that intervention. I think in truth, however, and in this next 72 hours could be crucial to her chances and indeed to, to Kemi's chances, because I think Tory MPs will be looking for two things about these relative unknowns. One is, do I think that they would succeed in being able to dominate the House of Commons um, at Prime Minister's questions? And secondly, are they somebody who can appeal to the wider public? Now, one of the reasons why Rishi Sunak is still ahead, although Rishi Sunak, frankly, is still nothing like as popular as he was before he got caught up in Partygate and then the row about the non-dom status of his wife, is the one thing we do know he is, he's a very, very effective public speaker. Um, um, you know, he was uh, Boris Johnson's choice in 2019 when Boris Johnson himself wasn't going to take place in leadership debates. So, um, you know, we know, I think, that he can command an audience. Well, he, well Let's clear John, how, how, how popular he is. But that, that, I think, is the benchmark for the other yeah. candidates, is can they demonstrate, A, the same kind of command as the former chancellor, B, in so doing, create a higher degree of popularity than Rishi Sunak now commands? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out, won't we, in the next few days. So, John Curtis, thank you so much.